Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you three Halloween inspired garden DIYs. They are all very beginner friendly and also budget friendly. The first one is inspired by something that I saw on the Anthropology website and it's basically a sugar school bird feeder. It's about this big. Well, I don't know, I haven't ordered the one from the website because I think it was about 22 pounds and I don't know who's spending 22 pounds on a bird feeder, but it ain't me. Anyway, I've got um, a big bag of bird seed and some sunflower seeds from some flowers that have died and I've collected the seeds. All I needed to buy was the suet block. Start by making a hole through the center of the suet block with a skewer or something similar. This is where we'll attach the string so that you can hang your bird feeder at the end. Use the skewer to stab the string and feed it through the suet block. Make sure you tie a strong knot at the bottom because the suet is quite heavy. Using a knife or some clay sculpting tools, start carving out your design. I did find this part quite messy, so it might be an idea to wear gloves if you don't like the feel of sticky, gross things. Here I'm just smoothing off the edges with my fingers to neaten up anything that I've carved out. Now it's time to start adding seeds for your design. I used a reference image on Google just to work out the placement of where I was going to put everything. Here I'm adding the distinctive flowers around the eyes of the sugar skull. I was trying to pick the brightest seeds that I could find, so you kind of have to hunt through the seed to find the brightest colours. Lots of my references had like a flower garland on the head, so I added in some dried cranberries for the flower garland. Once you're happy with your design, you can go and hang it out in the garden for the birds to enjoy. So for the next DIY, we're going to be doing a dinosaur remains in the garden and you're going to need some pebble pilfering skills here or just if you've got a patch of gravel with white stones in it, that's where I got mine from. So once you've got your pebbles, we're going to arrange them into the shape of some dinosaur remains. Um, I got a picture off Pinterest, which I'll stick in somewhere. Um, that was my main inspiration for this part of the video. So I've got the goods, and now I'm going to clear a space on the ground and start making my dinosaur design. Please note this skeleton is not accurate in the slightest, I just used my reference image very, very loosely. <laughs>
So for the final DIY, we're going to be making a brick book. If you can't guess what that is, it's a brick that you're gonna make look like a book and it's gonna be Halloween inspired. This should be very budget friendly or free if you've got a spare brick hanging around. And I don't know why, but I swear everyone has random bricks in their garden <laughs> that just sit there. So they should be free. And then I just used acrylic paints for this that I already had. I'm gonna be doing a Frankenstein inspired one. I found this image on, I'll put it there, Pinterest of someone's concept art of a character and I just thought I could just instantly visualise it on the front cover so I've Frankensteined him up a bit and I've used acrylic paint for this. I started out with a black base for the main part of the book and then moved on to taping out some guidelines for where I was going to spray paint the book white. Then I used my tracing of the drawing to imprint it onto the white part of the book. So that's all the DIYs for this video. I hope you really enjoyed watching and you felt inspired to give any of these a go. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more similar content because um, I really enjoyed making these. And I hope to see you next time. Bye guys.